bowling side of things. The friction, she splits the wicketkeeper and races around to the boundary. And lead buys off the thigh pad. Well, this is the sort of ground where you've got to have your fine leg pretty fine. Very short boundary, just clipped the outside thigh. And gave fine leg no chance whatsoever. Third slip and the wide gully. There it goes to him and he's got him straight to Greenwich. And that worked out well for the West Indian skipper. Good cricket. The first wicket falls at 16. Well, great captaincy. We just showed you where he shifted him from. And Mansur obliging with a catch straight to Gordon Greenwich. It had to be taken. It flew off the edge. He just had to move to his right. And first blood to Michael Holding in the West Indies. So Mansur Akhtar. He's out, caught Greenwich, bold holding for four, and Pakistan one for 16. In the air of safe. Got that well, that's an effort score with boundary which Give him chase, but doesn't make it, and that's some courage from the Dasser in the Pakistan side. First boundary, coming in the tenth over. A very short boundary there, and indications from that shot, Bill, is that Pakistan will certainly need a total of 200, 230 today. Is that ball? to late 80. We'll have to run quickly here. And he's not running too freely. There's a definite limp there now. It's pretty well protected with chest pads and thigh pads and what have you. Safely away for four. So the Pakistan bats will realize the urgency now and they're pushing it along. One for 39. Zahi has gone after him. It's over the boundary, I think. Yes, just into the thicket, so it's gone for six. Thick pop edge, he didn't get hold of it as he wanted, but nevertheless he gets a six. What an extraordinary stroke. How often does one see a six strap over the top of extra cover? But that's precisely what happened with Zahir moving down the weed, moving inside the line of the ball, hitting it not cleanly, but with the thick top edge and clipping it right over extra cover. He's gone again, someone under it this time, Lloyd, difficult catch for him and he just takes it, jumping out by Lloyd. Zahir is gone, caught Lloyd Bull Richards, 2-4-57. Cool, calculating customer Clive Lloyd is, because he goes to this catch, you can almost see the thought process is ticking over. I must follow it, I must really get that ball into my hands and whilst he fumbles it, he still pushes it up and coolly plucks it in. That's a good shot, that's four. Square cut, beautifully played, all the way to the boundary. So that's a fine shot by Jarvin. batsman discussing tactics. Javid Myandar has done a magnificent job here for Pakistan. He's come out, the match was seemingly just drifting along with no real purpose in the Pakistan batting. The West Indies were well on terms to the approach and the attitude of his team. He's got 18 off 24 deliveries. He's encouraged Mudasa to run for almost everything. The West Indies feeling has become a little bit shabby. They've panicked a little bit and now Pakistan have two for 97 into the attack of Andrew Roberts, who is now hoiked over mid on into the boundary it goes for four and that brings up the hundred in the most emphatic fashion appreciated by this good crowd here raising his total to 22 by virtue of this ball whipped from outside the off stump Roberts giving and brought four down through third man There's an appeal and he's gone. A bit of football there by Andy Roberts. Scored for the West Indies. And eventually the short singles have proved the undoing of Udasa. Well, my word, Andy Roberts on the evidence of this little piece of footwork could play in the World Cup next year. A direct shot finds the top corner of the net from the stumps. And Udasa is out. Brilliant run out. Three for hundred. It was just come in. 
Imran has got one. And he's now got two. In fact, he's got more than that. Bad bit of fielding down there by Andy Roberts. Should just be in the single. Look at that glare from Richards. Has a few words to mutter to himself about his fellow Antiguan Andy Roberts and what he might because that was a bad bit of fielding. Four runs to Imran. Three for 109. And now for continuation of commentary, Tony Gregg with Keith Stackpole. Imran up the non striker. Six. Jimmy Ed is gone. Well, that's a big blow to Pakistan. He's hit that straight to Clark Lloyd. He was fielding a point there. That's good bowling by Andy Roberts. He deserved that. He's really charged in. And the big blow there, the Pakistan captain, Javid Miandad, on his way back to the pavilion. Andy Roberts really bending the back. Presenting Clive Lloyd with his second catch. Neither have been taken cleanly. Both ended up sticking. So Javid Miandad, unfortunately, on his way back to Pakistan. Out for 25. And it strikes Tony. Four for 111. The left-hander was in Raja. 87 is the one out here, but in England it's 111 and just have this delivery from Imran Khan smashing it away on the offside there, which is the bowler. A single to Imran. So uh, in England they refer, refer to 111 as Nelson. And I, the Pakistanis, can uh, relax. Quickly now. 112, they've got a Push it up to around about 220 if they can. Well played by Roger. Well, he's off the mark now. Single down to the Dexter Cutter. Innings Pakistan this year. Imran Khan's been in good form the last couple of weeks. That's nicely placed on the leg side there, and Desmond Haynes coming in very quickly, limiting the batsman to just a single. So 114 now on the board, four wickets down, and the Pakistanis did say they wanted to score around about 200. Plenty of singles out there, but got to try and squeeze in a few boundaries somewhere along the line. There's plenty of room out in that outfield, particularly straight. Jimmy Ayer is going down the ground and it looks like a big one. It's a beauty. What a magnificent six that by Imran Khan. Elegantly placed and beautifully timed straight down the ground for six. All for 119. He Roberts. To his final over two. Overs. Him one for 24 now. You can see those figures at the bottom. Richards ten overs, one for 52. Well, Pakistan had to try and take toll of his figures. When you look at those top ones up there, Michael Holding. Now, if you the Pakistanis found it to get him away this morning, five overs, two maidens, one for three. So two bowlers to be bowled out after this. Holding and Ghana. And the errand going down to third man once again. Holding Chris Fields, but on that occasion he was able to recover quick enough and Imran Khan again to Wazim Raja this time. Runs down the leg side and off the pad and, and flicking the leg of Raja, a little hobble down the pitch there. That might have missed his pad to the pad. That's sort of thing to order. He's got a bit of a problem with his leg there. get two for this it might be four holding going very quickly trying to stick the leg out and the ball just beating into the boundary so that's a very useful four and Imran certainly coming into his own and what a nightmare time Michael Holdings having down that boundary Imran Khan running it away wide and oh he's hit that very hard that'll be four he's in the air and didn't go far away from Gordon Green into the extra cover so another four to Imran gone and uh, that was a good over from Pakistan. Four for one, four for four. He's bowlers this afternoon. And he's dropped him. Well, that was an orthodox edge and uh, straight to Dujon. We've said he's had a bit of bother out there. And on that occasion, he dropped that pretty straightforward catch.
and it was a straightforward catch, just sparring at it, move, went to his left, Dujon didn't move, his gloves moved, and his feet remained stationary, and uh, they're in as a runner. That's good, and well, what a good ball, and what a great shot, albeit slightly accidentally, played it there by Imran Kohl off the face of the bat, the ball deflected way down the third man for four. A very safe shot, and an intended one, just opening the face and running it fine, and Nelly six. Just one bounce and over the fence. So Imran Khan, an extremely intelligent bowler, Joel Garner. He's coming up from that height. Looks even more so. What is it? That is gone. Yes, Imran walking a half out of shot there at that time. Dujon making the catch. That was a very, very faint outside edge. Imran gone. Didn't even wait for the umpire's decision. So that's a bit of a blow to Pakistan. Well bowled by Joel Garner. Just concentrating short of a length. And straight through to Dujon. He hasn't kept cleanly today, but he made no mistake with that one. Imran Khan finds himself on the way back to the book. The wicket of Imran Khan. Five for 150. Let's have another look. Great shot. Great shot way down the ground there. Beautifully timed by Marjorie. That's what's needed. He's got the experience and the ability. But he's to hit Joel down the straight. Picked it up nicely on the on the up and placed it to a long one for four. 160 for five. Good up here. Do John under this one. That's a tragedy for Pakistan, but well bowled one for holding. But it's the out of pace. A wonderful sum with the ball. Took quite a little bit of magic. And he was certainly beaten for pace because that bat was only three parts of the way through when uh, the ball hit it. It was a question of the ball hitting the bat rather than the reverse. Marjorie is gone and it's Safras. Scamper through for a week. Look at the outs, yes! Always on this ref. Too slow. Well by Joel Garner. No football there as Andy Roberts used to dismiss Madassa earlier, but a great long striding figure going down there to pick up the ball and hurl it into the stumps underarm. In fact, to brush through with his hand. Good trick at that. Not so That's a good shot by Sarfraz. I'm not surprised Dick Bowles couldn't go for two with that uh, last shot we showed you there. Turned his back to the ball and he's batting the wrong hand. Okay, Sarfraz is away there for boundaries. That's a good shot. Well caught. Nicely judged by Gordon Greenwich. Limping a little, but uh, made it in perfect safety. Catch, Nick Bell got under that and Greenwich still limping slightly, kept his eye on the ball and just perfection. 175 for 8, so in the outfield. The spin took it away from Joel Garner there. Hits must be out. Skander single. There's one Haynes the fielder. And once again Greenwich backing up well. There was a chance of overthrows and Greenwich come across mid off and backed up the throw from Haynes. Miss ball that much. It's in the air. And what a good catch that is. Mr. Clark diving at mid on and the big man took a great catch, made it look easy diving forward and it bounced him in the face, but he had a lot of courage, he dived and picked up the final wicket. It's 9 for 177 in the 50th over. We'll be back with Richie Beno in just a moment.